The sunset, bro. The shade on it. What? What's the bigger? What's the topics? What's what's? Is there any leaders out there? Ah, oh, Khalas, that's it, bro. Okay, done. Who, who are our role models? Content to buy everything. <laughs> what's the man down for you? No, they're the Muslims. You should ask him. 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 I, 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 I did that when I was young. Yeah. You see, when I, 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 I was run, young, bro. yeah, I got typhoid, yeah, I was pissing blood. Oh, man. Yeah? They, they had to drain me out. Because you don't know what's going to be come through that water. And then a lot of, the, a lot of people, they, they go to the water, they put their mouth on it. <laughs> All sorts. Hey, that's crazy still. Do you understand? You have to be careful. What are you saying though? What, what was in, in Ghana or that journey in Africa? What's, what's lacking in the market? Like? Where, are the, where are the employment opportunities? I don't think that's really when you know, start tackling. Do you know, do you know in, in, in forms of business, right? There's a lot of stuff. Like even um, at the moment, I'm, doing the, I'm dealing with the Tiger Nuts, isn't it? Because you see in Ghana, they, 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 they use it for the kids. They put it in that plastic bag, and yeah, they yeah. but they put sugar in it. But the good thing with the tiger nut, it's actually a nut that comes from the ground. Because it's actually a root. So you, and you can actually get the, the full potential of what milk is and able to, to drink that out of the ground. And then, like, I take that to the States and they buy it in drones. Yeah. Buy that all drones. Got a but, and we've got, in the thing about it, back home we've got many different things like that. You know what I mean? Like yeah. nuts, um, fruits and all that kind of stuff. If you go to the north, you probably love north anyway. Yeah, yeah. Where, where I need to go store, yeah. Yeah, the, the village is out there, and it's easy to set up business because one of my people have, have got um, they've got a massive farm, and they just produce share bar, and they just bring tons of yeah. share bar in. It's looking at the smallest things, but with the maximum profit. It's like even just normal beans, they love doing beans out there. Yeah. You know what I mean? You might get the beef from like pennies over over there, come over here, and they're telling you about a bean chain, they're telling you about a single pound. Yeah, that's crazy. Do you understand? So I'll do some natural resources. Yeah, yeah natural resources, because you know what it is? We dismiss the small little things that, are, that can make a magnitude over here. That's why if you look at, just look at, just look at the, the path of palm oil. They tell you that it's a load of this and it's a load of that. Yeah, yeah. But they use it for so many things over here that you don't even realise. Yeah. I've always, I used to question it and then I used to check like Golden Wonder Crisps, Ritz Crisps. How come they make it so golden? I've, I've just get potato, I've tried to fry it. It's never that golden. Yeah, yeah. Unless I burn it. <laughs> But then what I realised, when you start to read the packet, you realise that they used it for a lot of things. To be able to create, the palm oil to create that golden colour. You know what I mean? And it's a big seller. It's, if you see the, 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 the amount of money that this country's made from palm oil, then you, you understand. Where's that from? Huh? Just Ghana. Okay, Africa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And the thing is... I always hear about it, but I don't know. Yeah, they, 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 tried to, they tried to take it, even, you see that? They tried to take responsibility off us. <laughs> not to have it. So what they did, they took it easier. But the problem is, when they tried to get in Indonesia, their whole land, most of all their land, because it can't grow there. It's a particular, a particular temperature and it, and it feeds off the ground, so it destroys anything else around it. So, and these are issues. Because remember, when, it, when, that, when that pond drops, that's, that's bare next trees. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yes. From the palm tree. It, it, the palm tree, it's a pond. It's like, it's like little, little, little round fruits. But as I said to you, you know what, to be honest, if you know what the market is and you, you study here and you know what, what people need over here and what they need over there, <laughs> you're going to make money. <laughs> to be honest, I'd like to bring the, the, the agricultural like, yeah. scene there, but farming, the farming especially is, farming, is, is of, uh, farming of animals as well. My dad telling me the prices there for food are like, expensive, yeah. extortionate for them. Yeah, I remember, I remember, I remember uh, that when my dad used to tell me, he said that, you know, Back then, an egg cost more than a bread, a loaf of bread. Yeah, yeah. 
it shows, but, but you don't... Do you know what I mean? Yes, inflation is just... Yeah, but you know, this, is the, this is the suppression that they're doing nowadays. Keep the wages at one, at one stage, increase the inflation. So you're never grasping to any time to make that little change to create a business. Capitalism. Yep. And that and that came from all the, the companies and organisations that, that did slavery. They brought capitalism. But you know, but as I said, if I was just keep us not just even stick to Ghana, just keep going with South Africa. I'm, I'm telling you, you're going to see a niche, and it's so easy. It, it's just, it just dropping your lap. Something that someone doesn't need. Like even the, the richest man in Nigeria, Dan Koti, he started from concrete. He knew that people were building houses, so oh, all I had to do was supply concrete. What is he out? Top ten. No, top ten no, in the world. He's the, the, Nigeria, he's the, he's the richest in Africa. I would say, I'll put it that way. He's the richest in Africa. He's, he's, he's amongst the elite. That's why they even infiltrated him, because they, they got... Um, con, con, con. <laughs> but it's a common little thing. Because when you well, think I'm saying there's probably not even a tax market like that. Even though he's made peace from it, anyone could probably still make peace. Yeah, of course. If you get the right, the right place, you get the complete in glasses. That's what I keep saying to you. People, it's what metal. Yeah, but any metal's gonna sell. Iron, yeah. copper. But that's why the Chinese are, are like. Yeah, we need to kick these these, these motherfuckers out. That's the only reason why I like West Africa, though. No one talks about it, that, but we don't tolerate that shit in West Africa. Well, South Africa, the, when you're hearing that they're taking over police station, you go and take over a police station in Ghana and see what happens. <laughs> you won't even make it to the station, bro. If you make it there, you won't make it out. Bro. Ain't that been that shit? You understand? You get it right now. Same in Nigeria. They, they built up a China, built a Chinatown. After about a few years now, the Nigerian man just said, "Get out of here!" They took over Chinatown and started making Chinese food. <laughs> Standard though. The thing is, they shouldn't be able. To... The African line is too cheap. It's the government. It's the government. That is there that... It, it, the real truth is, until, until a certain category of um, um, government goals, it's never going to change. So what, does man have to infiltrate the military or something? If it's going to happen, not even the, the military boys that have gone... Um, Maybe Rawlings was onto something. You see, when they've, they've gone, um, um, what, what do they call it? When you turn from military to being a... Um, like a uh, politician or something? Yeah, a politician, but they... they um, Something public, isn't it? But once they've come out of that military, but the military guard is still there. That network of military is yeah. is well, always like still behind the now, scene. Yeah. They've, yeah, they've turned into a public servant. Until that military, old military is gone, then the doors will open. We need young presidents. But are they not building the next generation to like they that still being seeped into the next? Those generation, are the ones. Those it? are the ones that get sent over here. But if if we are able to convince the ones that get sent over here, then we, there could be a change. Then we get physically out with them. And, uh, yeah, you, you, them ones in the Oxford University. Come here, man. You're coming raving with me. Get all the, take all the pictures. <laughs> Put it with all the work. <laughs> so take all the pictures and trap yeah. them, yeah? Tra and trap them. <laughs> Yeah, if you follow your dad, you're learning the English ways, <laughs> exactly. You have to put the English thing. That's what they, because that's what they do. That's what they because you know what it is. It's like even um, I'll give you this. A um, couple of years back, the, um, the vice president of Nigeria, um, Abu Bakr, my man was letting in pure dough. They were giving him ten mil for sips for Siemens to come into the country. None of that got reinvested into the market. None. That, that went to his pocket. That was his ten bills. Was his in his pocket. Corruption is still rife over them. They understand? It's it's, it's the, the real truth. The real truth is is that you have to know how to buy a politician. You have a rent a politician or you buy a politician. You know what's mad though? You know politicians in the West, they do the same things, you know. But yeah, the way, of course. But the, the thing is, the, the the way legislation is, is these people get vetted as well. You think see about a that politician go to jail for that. that. It's rare, but you see a man go to jail yeah, for yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. But you see, like, if I'm Marcus and Spencer's, I'll say, you know what, I'm going to fund your campaign and your charities. Yeah? And if I fund your campaign and your charities, behind those, you've got to help me twist the policies for my for my yeah, interest. Yeah. And of course... Hey, yeah, it's as a lobby, yeah. And that's how it's always been. But it's just that some people get used as a scapegoat. That's what we hear about it. But all of them are. Because where are they getting money for campaign for? <laughs> Do you understand? It's not the tax people's money. Because they're not in government. Seeing backhanded deals here. <laughs> of course. Think about it. If to, to do a TV advert, how much is that going to do? Cost. That's dough. you got to have money. That's why when Trump did his thing, 
he had it unlocked before he even started. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> my man had his own business, my man's got his own TV station. <laughs> He's got his own media. You can't beat that. <laughs> you know what I mean? But what do you say, what do you say about um, the idea that a lot of um, ruling classes in Africa are yeah. educated in Britain or in America? Yeah, we well, all have. Yeah. They're the most, most, most of them have. Well, they, they ain't going to study in their own background. But even some of them, some of them don't even need to study because they come through military. They, they've got their own, they've got their own, they've got their own degree. <laughs> so it's part of the education indoctrination. Though. Yeah, you le you learn the English system. That was, that's been learned, that's been taught from the Roman times. You take the first board of every child, take them to Rome, let them learn the Roman way, and then send them back. That's all it is. We come here, we learn the English way. You go back to your country with an English mind, an English mindset. So then, so it's easier for this country to approach that that guy because he understands in the English in, the, in that English mindset. So he's been bought. Where if he had his African mindset, he might be con he might he might be having conflict. No, it is, and that's why they, they knew Gaddafi before he even started. They knew how he played. They knew everything about him because he studied over here. All the kings that they used to rule, they used to, they used to take them to Rome, learn Latin and Greek, and yeah. send them back to the government. Exactly. So when I'm asking you a favour, you can't tell me out of your own language, you tell me in the, in the, in the, in the Latin language. In the history, they dress like that. Look at the kings in that was, that was, that was That was the biggest fall down. It's called the old school yeah, yeah. ties. Even their women. <laughs> yeah. They used to take them and shame them and kill them and drag them down the street to humiliate them. We go against our own fathers. Yeah, that's all it is. Yes, do. Some of them they commit suicide. Do that in the history. That's, that's why. That's why. money and politics. They're the most lethalest things here. Even education in Africa. Because the think about it like this. Back then, how can like someone like Marx and Spencer's have a military? It's a joke. Doesn't make sense. That's how the it's corporates were. Yeah. All them corporates back then. It was a business. This is why I keep on telling people stop using the religion because it's not the religion itself. It's the, the, the issue is is it's the, the, the elite with the corporate companies. The elite with the corporate companies would dictate because they have the they have the army and the forces. Whether they're in Islam or Christianity, we can't blame that religion or the people because the people are just followers. It's got nothing to do with the religion now. Do you understand? If a war, if a, if, a, if a, you got to understand, if a war comes about, why is that war happening? What's that conflict about? Yeah. Who's who's in, who's paying for that conflict? There is someone along the lines. So even if you're Islam or whatever, sometimes you might go to a rich man and say, you know what, I need I need a certain amount of money to fund this war. And the man says, okay, if you, if I fund your war, what can you offer me? Happened in World War Two, World War Two, the, um, what do you call it? The uh, um, the, the Rothschilds. They they they, they, pay, they pay they pay the English government money to to sort out the team because they're the bankers. And you've got to remember who they are. I mean, if you man imagine the boarding school system, it's all boys together from the age of like six years old. They're in dormitory situations. So we say it's like a, it's like a fraternity type thing. Yeah. It's like orphans, you know, it's the lost boys all together, yeah. far from the, the, the mother. And, you know, the elites from Africa are going into that environment as well. Yeah. Yeah. I went to one of them, but I was at a comprehensive until I was 15. But my mum, she came from a mixed marriage. So my gran was working class, but my granddad was upper class. Right. He was an officer in the army. But he went into my grand's world, so he didn't remain an officer. He became a mechanic because he was in the mechanical world. He didn't think my grand would be able to uh, live with the officer's wife because she came from a different class. Right. <coughs> my mum um, admired my, my granddad, so although I went to comprehensive school, uh, she saved up. So I went to Singapore in a, in a public school. But I wasn't in the dormitory because at the age of 15, 16, you got your own room. Okay. So I never was exposed to the dormitory. Right. Can you imagine you're on your guard? I hold boys all together, you know, competing all the time. You're on your guard all the time. And you've got to imagine that's the psychology of, 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 yeah, of the rulers of the world tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's yeah. how we studied back, uh, back in Algeria. The girls which have the same school divided into boys this same, 
Boxing. We didn't mix until we went to um, secondary school. Yeah, the, uh, we didn't mix. And this is what this, and this is uh, and these are the, as I was saying to you, these are the conflicts that we're having because we're having the, the conflicts because of this elite or, or a certain amount of people that are on the top of their game. And we're, 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 we come with the religion of uh, black, white, green, this one because of they they need that 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 war force to happen so that we're not we're not engaging. They don't want unification because they know unification is key. If we all decided to unify, who, who, do, who needs the government? Even the education system is different. Yeah. They the set it up for us how to teach the kids. Of course. You see the olden days when we used to go to school used to sit on the floor. You know there's a big issue about you sitting on the table studying or being natural sitting on the floor and, and studying. Because your body I was watching this expert. She's all you have to do and it's in the education system, all you have to do is go to the quad trivial or trivial in the forms of the guilds. Understanding that, that you have three to four compulsory subjects from when you leave secondary school. Maths, yeah? English, meaning a language. You understand? You have to have a language. Science, and then either um, religion or, or, or music. But in Africa it's different. But, but, but see that, that mould, that mould is what is able to create in, in their forms of understanding, to understand their religion. In that mould is to understand them in their form of their elite. So once you can able to place that in systems, even in Africa, because in Africa right now we use European systems. Yeah, this is what I'm saying. They make it up for us. They set it up so, for us. So that you're already moulding yourself into their culture. Of course. Because if you if you said, okay, where does it talk about my African history? It can't be in that. It's in, not in there. That mold. It's not there. It's, a, it's oh, if you want if you want to learn African, you have to go somewhere else to learn that. Yeah. You understand? No, no, it's totally different. But then you can't blame them because it's their country. Hmm. But. For them to put it into, a, into an African country is another thing coming because that's not their culture, that's why things go wrong. And no one understands the people, no one knows their forefathers. Because if we knew our history, then we know how to apply it within ourselves and understand our religion much more clearer. You understand? It's so vague because that's what they want them to, that's what they want us to do. War and fight and argue and, and destroy each other. That's what we used to do. Oh, wow. And the system was completely different. Look, when we were kids, up to ages, Year six, yeah. we used to use maths. As soon as you pass year seven, yeah. you become algebra. I didn't know fuck all. I went in there, but, so but, I thought but, 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 A but, plus B, plus I used to know one plus one. But, but I bet you back then, but, 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 but back then they never taught you the history of algebra, though. Huh? Never. They, they, they just never presented it. No, they just they just presented it to us. They just presented it to us. They just told you a formula and left it as that. But it never got into my head. It took me three years. Yeah. I didn't understand it. Yeah, but now I'm used to when you one check plus the history, one hundred times this divided by this, and then you come to me with a <laughs> plus b equals h. What is that? I was confused. Yeah, and then I was kicked out of school because I couldn't do any good. I fell three times. And look at that system. You fell three times from the year one until the time you go to uni. You're out. You can study from home, my correspondence. And then that's the time I was eighteen. I was like, you know what? So, I'm going to leave. Goodbye. Keep your education. But they never taught us anything. We used to have what? Um, Tarbiya Islamiya. Arabic. And then H3. French comes in. Uh, year 3, which is age of, age of 9. French comes in. And then it carries on. Just French, Arabic, maths, three things. And sports. And then French, Arabic, maths. Yeah. And then you reach age 5, year 5, and 6, you have history and geography. But it's not the things that you know. And then when you reach year 7, because it's different education, and then you'll have like history, economy, disarmament, and then science. And then science, yeah, you have science. But what's science? We used to go ourselves on the street to collect frogs and then sort of open them up. Or we chip in, go and get a rabbit, and then, you know, we go and then that. And that was it. And then you've got physics, I was good. But the only thing I could never get myself is algebra. Science was good. You know you go in there, you're like, yo, okay. come on in there. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. You helped me because of the plan, and I learned to excuse the way. Anything else? Yeah, but they help you with the foundation, isn't it? Nothing. Yeah. Yeah. They don't teach us anything. They don't teach us anything. No algebra, nothing. We went in there, they gave us books. Okay, teach you a blackboard, chalk, A, H, and then 
we got that few goes there. Equals this, and then a hundred on top. <laughs> I'll teach you, I'll tell you something. It's, it's the steps. Have you done your homework this weekend? I tried. <laughs> okay, can you do up this... Uh, that's it. Talk? Yeah. I couldn't get it to me. I've been trying. I used to have night classes because I used to be a scout as well. Night class to help us on our homework to educate us a little bit. That's the thing, please. We don't have to because we have this homework from age one. Now, I actually want to When I started doing my year seven, I said, oh, that's the time they started from scratch for the year one, teaching them how to See how the fence has been worked. So they don't want you to Yeah, yeah, we got it. We got it. Yeah, yeah. Content over everything. Content over everything. From your government. Man say it straight, man don't listen to BBC, man don't listen to ITV. And that's the one. Listen! Man don't listen to BBC, man don't listen to ITV, I don't even listen to the guy right And that would be my solution. Man don't listen to BBC, man don't listen to ITV, I don't listen to the guy right Man just listen to the COE, man just listen to the COE, I'm going to go by the day, if you see me in COE, I'll do it over everything, COE, man not even know BBC, man not even know ITV, not even listen to the MUM, they don't listen to COE.